Welcome to the Serious Online Student Experience. In this video, we're going to cover these key topics, course materials, assignments, completing assignments, viewing reports, and updating your profile and logging out. This video assumes that you have already been registered in the Serious eLearning system. If you need help with registration, please refer to the Serious Online Getting Started Guide or its accompanying video. After logging in, students start at their dashboard. The dashboard shows the courses for their first class as well as the assignments to go with that class. Classes are listed in the class menu up at the top of the screen. Let's say our student is at a self-registration district and has another class they need to join. They can click Join Class, enter the code provided by their teachers, and click Join. That adds the second class to their list, and they can see the course resources and assignments for the second class. If your school provides rosters, you will not need to join a class. Notice if there is only one set of course materials for the class, they appear here on the left. If there is more than one course for the class, then there will be arrows to allow students to select the materials they want to use. Students can either open the course materials from the screen using the Open button, or they can use the Courses tab to see all the course materials for their science class and to open each one. When students open the course, they will see some of the course contents. Be aware that students are given access to certain parts of the course such as the lessons, but not to other parts of the course like tests or practice activities. Those particular parts of the course need to be assigned by a teacher in order for students to access them. For example, in this course, students see the introduction and the lessons, but they would not see the unit diagnostic test, the unit post-test, or the practice exercises. Coming back to the dashboard, you can see students' current assignments for their science class, or if they switch to their math class, they'll see the current assignments for that class. Students can also manage their assignments from the Assignments tab, where there are filtering options available. There they can see all of the current assignments for the class. Students can also click the Due Today tab to filter for only those that are due today, or switching to the Science class where students have a little more work lined up for them, they can click Closed to see assignments that they've completed, but that have not yet been auto-scored or graded by the teacher. Students can also see assignments that have been graded, but where the teacher has not yet released the grades to students. Finally, students can click the Graded category to see how they did on assignments for which the teacher has released grades. Notice for this particular activity, the student received a grade of 81% and is able to review the work that they did by clicking Review. They can see all the markup that they previously entered, highlighting and sticky notes, as well as the answers that they selected and the correct answers. They can also see a bit of teacher feedback, in this case, a query from the teacher about a couple of questions that were left unanswered. There are two types of assignments that students will work on in the current version of Sirius Online. Computer Scored Star Practice and Assessment and Teacher Scored Lesson Work. Students access assignments from their dashboard or navigate to the Assignments tab. To begin an assigned test or practice, students click the Start button, read the instructions, and then click Next at the bottom of the screen. They can navigate through each item on screen by clicking Next at the bottom of the screen. For tests in test mode, for example this diagnostic test, students respond to each item and click Next. There is no on-screen feedback or hints given to students in test mode. 
Students can flag any item they wish to skip over for now, and they can click the Go To button to see a slide tray of all the screens they will be working with. They can jump to items, such as items they flagged earlier. Once students have answered all questions, they submit their work by clicking the Submit button. For students who have been assigned lessons, they can click Start to begin their lesson work. Students respond to content on screen through the use of notes, highlights, or by drawing directly on screen. To submit work on lessons, students click the Submit button in the upper right of the screen and then confirm by clicking Yes. For students doing assigned computer scored star practice work done in practice mode, they will have the opportunity to receive immediate feedback based on their first attempted response. For example, in Algebra 1, they can then try again, show hint, view sample answer, or show correct answer. Students can use a variety of tools that mimic the STAR test. Some courses have subject-specific tools. For example, Algebra 1 has formulas, a graphing calculator, and graph paper. Or they can use speech and audio tools in the upper right to access text-to-speech, translations, a dictionary, or a Pictionary. Teachers and students can learn more about available STAR tools and other accommodation functionality in their STAR Tools tutorial, available within their course menu. Finally, you can view and review your work on assignments by clicking the Reports tab at the top of the screen. When landing on the main Reports screen, you'll find that your overall progress on the assignments is color-coded in green, blue, and gold for advanced, competent, and beginner. You'll also see your overall summary, including the number of assignments that make up the summary. Below that, you'll find your weekly performance. In the main section of the screen, click on the caret next to the course to review all of the scores you've gotten on assignments in that course, including score, performance, and any feedback from your teacher. You can review your assignments, including notes from your teacher, by clicking the title of the assignment shown in blue text. When clicked, you'll see a pop-up with status, due date, and score. To navigate to your assignment for review, click the Review button. You'll be able to scroll or page through your work on assignments to see how you did on each item or question. Be sure to carefully study each item to be sure you understand what you may have done right or wrong. And be sure to follow up with your teacher if you do not understand why you got an item wrong. Your review of your work is as much a learning experience as any. The final element of your dashboard deals with your user profile. If you're self-registered, you'll be able to update your profile image and your password. If your school does rosters for you, you'll be able to change only your profile image. Finally, you can log out from the account profile icon. And that's all there is to getting started with the Sirius Online eLearning system. Remember, if you need to see this video again or find answers to other questions, please ask your teacher for help.